And now, to unveil the Honey Badger's cunning plan. Hi, my name is Allison Tiemann, and I manage Honey Badger Radio. As you may be aware, the hotel hosting the Detroit Men's Issues Conference has received, received alleged threats against its staff and guests. This resulted in a voice for men, the organizers of the conference, asking for donations to uncover increased security costs requested by the hotel. Although security costs may still increase, a voice for men received the 20 or raised the $25,000 it required within a day. Now here's the honey badger plan. We're going to set up a table in the hotel lobby directly across from the elevators and stairs. This table will be the first thing seen by anyone entering the lobby to attend or protest the conference. We will be the first thing people see and the first people to see anything because of where we're situated. The intent is to challenge the mainstream media's narrative about who men's rights activists are. In addition, having a highly visible group of women at the conference should serve to dissuade anyone who attends with the intent to engage in violence. Here's one of the threats we've received documented by Crystal Garcia. Quote, No, you clearly hate women. You're a fucking violent terrorist and I will be armed and prepared when your trash infiltrates the city. You don't belong here. End quote. Originally, myself, Hannah, and Karen were going to attend the conference with myself manning the table alone. However, since threats have been made against innocent members of the Detroit community, the hotel staff and guests, and also other men's rights activists, things have changed. Three more members of Honey Badger Radio have stepped up to volunteer to help ensure peaceful assembly at the conference. They are Crystal Garcia, Rachel Edwards, and Jess K. But we need to get them there. We've calculated that we'll need $5,000 for travel, incentive expenses, contingency fee, and fundraiser costs. If all goes well, having a table full of women watching the entrance and being the first thing people see once they enter the conference should help prevent any violence from breaking out. But if it doesn't, we fully intend to serve as nonviolent human shields between any violent protesters and the conference attendees, hotel staff, and guests. If they want to silence men's rights with violence, they can damn well go through me, Allison Tim. And me, Crystal Garcia. And me, Hannah Warland. And me, Rachel Edwards. And me, Jess Kay. Let's get on with the fun stuff. We're offering rewards for donating. Because this conference is not just about talking about men's issues, but also having a little fun while we do it. The way these rewards work is that when you donate a certain amount, you'll get not just the reward listed for that amount, but all the other rewards for the lower amounts. So, for example, if you donated $25, you'd get the $10 and $5 rewards as well. The rewards include the Bring It Honey Badger t-shirt designed in response to the Detroit Conference's famous or infamous death threats. Note the bullseye. Isn't it beautiful? These shirts will also be available for purchase at the conference. Bookmarks featuring Europa's gorgeous illustrations and signed by myself, Allison, and Hannah. A signed t-shirt featuring me, Karen Strawn, as the face of the non-feminist revolution. And for the maximum donation, the Honey Badger Mystery Bag. What's in it? Uh-uh-uh. You'll have to donate to find out. Three mystery bag rewards will be available until midnight, June 11th. Go to fundanything.com slash en slash campaigns slash honey badger bring it campaign to discover the rest of the rewards. And thank you very kindly for your donation.